First question out of the box, you know, from time to time while you were playing, your wife would sing with the courtside band. Uh, did that ever throw you off, running down the court, knowing that your wife is singing in the corner over there? No, I didn't really focus on that. I mean, I was more focused on what I had to do, you know. I would, but I did tell her, I say, look, don't be out there messing up. Now, if you missing missing notes and stuff like that, you know, we'll laugh about it. But she knew she knew what she was doing. Um, you know, you played on some great teams with Milwaukee. Uh, probably one of looking back in the history of the team, one of the best outside shooters uh, in the history of the program. Um, when you look at the NBA today. You just don't see as many knockdown dead shooters. Do you think there's a big difference out there from when you played? Well, I, I think when I played, it was a different era. You know, these guys now, they they doing all kind of stuff. They they dunking, they on the break. I think with the Michael Jordan, a lot of kids still look up to want to be like Mike, and and they, they trying to be like Mike, but they not like Mike. They don't have the abilities. But you have a lot with that type of ability, but not as much talent. So I think some of them need to concentrate more on the basic shooting because you have shooters, you just have to really want to be a shooter. Um, you know, when you look back at the years you played at the Bucks, who was your favorite teammate? Oh, I love the Bucks. I mean, Terry Common, Paul Pressey, Sidney Moncrief, Jack Sigma, you know, uh, Humphreys, Ivan Rob. I mean, we, we just had a, a, a group. You know, I mean, and we love to win. You know, we hated losing. We wanted to play the right way. We knew we had to play the right way to win. And and so, uh, I mean, it was fun, especially when you play the right way. Um, see your shirt there, Bouncing Billy. Is What are you doing these days? Well, I'm promoting uh, have fun where you stay fit with kids. You know, I have an educational component that consists of jump ropes, cones, uh, a, a, a bouncing billy book, uh, a teacher's manual. I mean, it's just an entire kit. You know, the kids can have fun where they stay fit. You know, you see a lot of the players these days going their different directions, doing their different things. How important is it for you to be involved with something like that? Well, with diabetes and obesity running rapid, especially among our young kids, you know, we have to try to give back some way, somehow. And they look up to us as role models. And this is one of the ways that I can give back.